Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel, and we are in the middle of Serie A Team of the Season. It is here, it has come out. We got some sick cards, I'm going to be honest. We're going to take a look at the team, look at the Air Divisi team as well. There's some really good players in that squad, um, and we're going to talk about a few things that happened today on the market in terms of these cards coming out. What kind of what it kind of means for other cards um, in the Serie A? Maybe look at a few of our investments that we have made, and also just take a look at the market in general, just to see how the market is doing after the lightning rounds and if kind of things went according to what uh, they thought we would. Which so far it looks like they are. Obviously, you have these new uh, team of the season cards out on the market. You have a lot of these um, some big prices first day which is something that we do always see if we do take a look at the Serie A team of the season, Serie A team of the season. Um, these cards, you know, today I, I had the opportunity today to actually be on the market during lightning rounds uh, for Friday, which is a rarity for me. Um, and I saw a lot of supply on these cards that I wasn't used to seeing, but now they've gotten super duper rare. Actually, we'll go take a look at a concept squad and take a look at some of these cards right now. And the difference between what the supply was today when they were first coming into packs and what it is now is honestly crazy. I mean, I remember pages and pages of this DePaul card. Now he's got two pages. Look how many Chiellinis are on the market. Just a minute ago, there were four Chiellinis on the entire market. There's a few more now. Um, but a lot of these cards are decently rare. And that is that is very interesting to me because I think a lot of people are going to try these cards out. They boosted cards and they, they put out a lot of interesting cards with this team. I mean, especially a couple of ones that really interest me. DePaul, Chiesa, Piatek, Correa, El Shirawi. I mean, Zapata's card looks insane as well. And of course, I mean, this Izzo card looks pretty good. Quagliarella looks really good. He was 590,000 coins just a little bit ago. Let's take a look at his card. He's risen up very nice. I wasn't able to buy a lot of these cards at their low point during the day during lightning rounds. Yeah, I see 565 and he's up to 625 on Xbox. That's a very, very nice rise as these players have gotten rare overnight. So I wasn't able to buy any of these players today uh, before they got super rare again. But it is interesting to see some of these cards and what they came out with. They gave Ronaldo's card, he, they gave him better pace, better dribbling than his team of the year. Uh, a little bit less passing and a little bit less physical, I do believe, than in Team of the Year. But 8 million coins is what this card is selling at. They gave 9 gold on a tots. I didn't know if they would do it, and they actually went out and did it. This card is going to stay expensive because that is a very nasty card. Incredible, incredible stats. I'm really waiting to see some player reviews um, on a lot of these cards. And I think you guys should do the same. Wait until you see some player reviews, or for the cheaper budget ones. You know, if you, you got a guy down here like Correa... A lot of people are going to be trying this card out. I would expect this card's price to fluctuate a lot because he's got some pretty good stats, you know? Four star, four star, high medium work rates. He's six foot two. He's got a little bit low on the balance, not the best on the jumping, but the rest of his stats, I mean, he would make a very good center attacking mid with his pace, passing, dribbling. He's 90 strength as well. I mean, that's a very B stat for a guy up top. So I would be very, very interested to see how that card plays. Same with Chiesa. Um, you know, there's a lot of this, a lot of cards in this team around like the 200 to 300,000 coin mark. Um, if we take a look at this team again, you can really see this kind of shape up. You got 350k here, 200k, and then especially down here on the bench, a lot of these guys are interesting cards that people are going to want to go and try out because they haven't had a lot of specials this year. Piatek is a huge boost over his. Um, is what is it? Is he has an inform or a man of the match card? I mean, Chiesa. I think he has like a. Does he have a once to watch or was that uh, somebody else? Somebody. He has a special card along the line somewhere, like a man of the match. But this is such a huge boost on that card. Another big boost. Another big boost. All these guys on the bench are big boosts, and they're like 200, 300 thousand coins. I think that, that is hurting some of our Serie A investments right now. We're gonna look at my transfer list, and you're gonna see some of the cards that I have. I've sold a lot of cards today. As you can tell, these are some of my La Liga cards that I've sold over the weekend. Made some pretty good money on those cards. Um, but I want to look at some of the cards that I have on my transfer list still. Some of these cards, um, especially the Douglas Costa. Because if you think about it, this card is right around the 300 and it's 388 right now on Xbox. It was 330 for most of the point for most of the day today. Look at his look at his stats: 99 pace, 85 shot, 80 passing, 
88 passing, 95 dribbling. Go back over here. What kind of card is comparable to a center mid striker or center attacking mid? You know, Correa. He has five less pace than Douglas Costa, but he's got seven better shooting, two better passing. Um, he's got 11 better physical and about the same dribbling. Um, so you look at a card like that, it's Correa, it's fresh, it's new. Uh, you know, people are going to be more apt to go trying out that card than they are to go buy back a Douglas Costa that they might have panic sold this morning. Now, yes, some of these other Serie A cards have risen in price. Um, there have been a ton and ton of market movements today. And there's one interesting one that I do want to take a look at as well. We still have to keep an eye on some of these huge price gaps uh, between the player's tots card that just came out today and the the next lowest rated version of, of that card look at this once to watch cancelo right now ninety six thousand coins on the market you know what we're gonna go take a look at this card because you guys need to witness this with me this i'm really interested in this cancelo card because the syria hype is here if you're using a right back in the syria cancelo is your guy his tots card is 800k so there's a seven hundred thousand coin difference between this 94 and this card. Now, if we take a look at the 89 Jao Cancelo, he was invested in very heavily. I mentioned that earlier. He was invested in very, very heavily for this promo. You can see he was 111 leading up to today. He was obviously a lot lower, but he has built up a lot of hype heading into this promo. And look where he's fallen back down to 95,000 coins. That's probably going to be a buy for me because I'm going to wait till the end of this weekend. Maybe you see this card drop down a little bit more, but who's going to want to pay? I mean, there's a lot of coins on the game, but the amount of people that will be wanting and able to pay 800,000 coins for this Jao Cancelo card, I don't see it being that many. Now, I do think this card's price will drop. Um, Jao Cancelo, he's been dropping throughout the day today. Um, so I do think he will continue to drop. But I don't see this card really going anywhere under south of 600,000 coins. I think it can drop another about 100,000 coins, maybe 150k. But other than that, I mean, this is your Serie A right back that you're going to use. He gets the perfect link to Ronaldo, and that keeps his uh, value up very high. Um, the only thing that honestly might hurt him a little bit is if people are making concept squads, um, you have the Alexandro SBC now that could be a link to Ronaldo and other Juve players as well. But I still do see this card as a very valuable, a very usable right back in the game. People have been using this card since week one. Obviously, he's the ones to watch. He's been getting upgrades. People are very interested in this card. Um, but I, I just think the price gift difference between the alternative ones to watch card compared to his team of the season is a lot um, for a card at this at this price range. 100,000 coins all the way up to... Um, 700,000 coins, maybe 600,000. I think that gap is a little bit too big. So I'd be very interested in watching that card's price um, this week as well. So again, going back to this team, we're going to take a look at the um, Eredivisie Tots cards right now, just for a second. I want to talk about these cards here just a little bit. Um, De Young, 95 rated CDM. They're really going along with the Air Divisi hype this year. This is honestly, if you're opening opening packs, besides the Premier League and the amount of cards that were in there that were very high value, this is the best second league. I would say this is maybe your second best um, if you were to open packs. The combination of the value in the Serie A and the combination of the value of the second league, this is probably your best time to be ripping packs. Um, uh, other than the Premier League, because this second team has got some very high value cards in it. You have Blind, who's honestly not too bad for an 87 rated. That's a decent card. Delict at 800k, Dumfries at 370, Ziyech at 345, Van Persie at 290. I mean, Tadic even at 119k isn't bad. And then you have De Young in the middle at 680k. This card is ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous, and I knew that they were going to juice these cards, and it's going to bring the hype back, but I'm surprised they did not re-release the Tagliafico left-back card. They didn't even re-release Allen or Chan at all today as well, so I was very interested in that. But this is a combination that you're going to see very, very commonly in the coming weeks in FIFA Ultimate Team. Delict at center back, Van Dijk at center back, Dumfries at right back, and then probably you know some variation of... An icon goalkeeper with Yashin, Vandersar in goal, or um, some form like Tots Allison to link to Van Dyke. Because if you get delict a link, a green link Dumfries, 
um, and a link to Van Dyke, you know, maybe one more link and you're good. So that interests me in some of the um, Dutch icons. I actually have bought a couple of them. I think I bought a a Clivert today. I do believe I bought a Clivert because he got pretty low in price. Uh, but watch these Dutch icons. Oh wow, he is up a lot right now at a million coins. I think I bought mine for 900,000 coins flat. Um, 93 rated Burkamp as well. Because a lot of people have to link these uh, Dutch players somehow and these the icons are kind of the best way to do it. I'm going to search for Edwin van der Sar as well, his prime icon. 520, so that's not really up that much. That's still kind of his usual range. But you might see those prices kind of rise throughout the rest of this week as well, kind of as an investment because of the linkage that you need for some of those cards. But with that being said, with that being said, really try to grind your weekend league games this weekend if you have the ability to do so. Uh, because, I mean, think about it. If Even if you get a player from this team, there are only probably four or five players from this second league team that are honestly bad or not good value. I mean, look, okay, we have one, two, three, four, five. Onana, Blind, Agilino, that guy at Cam and De Young. I guess you could throw Tadic in there as well. So six players that are under 150,000 coins. And the rest, I mean, you look at this side of the squad right here, these guys are they're dope. If you get one of those in your tradable pack or even in your untradable player picks, so this week, there's going to be a lot of coins made um, off of rewards again. So I would really recommend you guys playing Weekend League, especially with the opportunity to pack Ronaldo and Nine Golan. There aren't many two, there aren't as many higher level or higher priced guys in the uh, Serie A team of the season squad. You know, you only have one, two of them over a million coins. Um, but you still have a lot of guys that are pretty high up in value, 740, 795, 500, 629, 623, uh, 600,000 coins for Zapata. So you have a lot of those mid-range guys that, you know, if you get an elite three pack with three of these cards and you hit Gomez, Izzo, and Sirigu, I mean, you just made a million coins right there. That's honestly not too shabby considering how that's average pack look. For those cards and who, who knows if they're going to give out the second league more more commonly you everybody might be hitting delict like so many people hit militao a couple weeks ago and that's 800,000 coins maybe 700k at, at that time um for that card so that's a pretty good just more incentive to play the weekend league this weekend i'm actually not qualified yet i'm gonna try to get qualified here but i don't have a ton a ton of time to play uh this weekend i'll try to hit some rewards though just to see if i can get anything good but I want to take a look at um, some of these weekend league investments as well that we were able to flip. There was some good money that was made uh, Thursday morning after rewards came out. I woke up and I saw Oblock at 140k. I bought five of them because I thought it was too low. It was one of those investments where I wish I would have bought more because he went back up to 170, 177. That was a nice little flip right there on those cards. Um, all these Sterlings I bought for 510 or below, sold them at 550. All these Coutinho's were great. Bought them at 250 or below, sold them at 300. This was a Nabry I had in the club that I bought at 395. Vinicius bought at 915. That was a very nice 50k profit. Marcelo bought at 420. These bales were big time money for me. And again, when we're looking at Serie A stuff this week to invest in, again, we're looking at the rare positions because last week with La Liga, there weren't any right wings in the team other than Messi. And that's obviously not very many people in the game can pay that steep price for that card. But you have Bale here, 370. I bought all of these for 280 or under. So I made, um, you know, a lot of money on that Bale card as well. And then Hernandez and Carvajal were decent, but the, they were kind of a, a bit of flops. And then some other random some other random cards that were thrown in here as well, as well as Gold Messi. I think I had five or six of those. Sold them for 400,000 coins a piece. There's my Clivert. I have a uh, Luis Hernandez as well. Still have some other cards that I need to sell and get out. Um, but I'm kind of waiting on a possible... Chucky Lozano, Team of the Season, Tots Moments SPC for this card. Um, I got these for pretty good prices today, $7.76 for a fresh Luis Hernandez. So I'm kind of waiting and watching on that one there um, for those cards. But again, with this week with the Serie A, be looking for those cards that you think people are going to use to link in their teams. Obviously, make a concept squad. We've talked about this a couple times before. Make a concept squad. Look at some of these cards that may have dropped. If you want them in your team, or you just want to uh, invest in them, be just just be watching the prices, honestly. Just be watching some of these prices. Um, the headliner, Sandro, kind of took like 
two hits today. I think he was 250K. Wow, he's low. Because that SBC that came out for him today, we got to take a look at that as well. I think that is a pretty, pretty craftable SBC, uh, in my opinion. I think he's like, he tunes in somewhere around 300,000 coins or so. Let's go to active challenges on Footbin and check this out. Flashback Alexandra. Wow, okay, he's 500,000 coins at the moment. So that is a little bit more than I thought he was. Um, but you're getting a pretty nasty card, and a lot of people are going to do this SBC. Um, and I think it's going to be one that you can definitely craft. And I want to make a point about that. I know I'm dragging on with this video, but crafting is something that you can do when the, the upgrade SBCs come out. Um, that is something you can do to, um, you know, you do a few of those SBCs. Let's say you, we're calling it crafting. We're doing those upgrade SBCs, and whatever we get from those packs, we can usually go out and complete part or most of an SBC like this one. So if you do 20, 30, 40, 50 of the 81 plus packs, you kind of pool what you get from those, the high rated cards you get, put them in this SBC, use maybe some players from the club, and that's how you can quote unquote craft this SBC or any of the other SBCs that I was talking about before. Basically it just means that you don't go out and just buy the players from scratch. You're doing the upgrade packs, packing players to put in uh, to this SBC. So we'll be doing a lot of packs as well when those come out. Hopefully they drop the upgrades earlier uh, because, you know, we have Ronaldo. Everybody wants a chance to to pack Ronaldo. And I am going to be doing a lot of those upgrade packs per usual. If you enjoyed the video, boys, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you do have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.